A whole world of YouTube. It's your buddy B2J135. I'm coming back with you another Pokemon Black 2 White 2 Smoke on Wi Fi battle. Playing my favorite tier, are you? Rarely use. Uh, got a similar set before. Actually, no, this set is similar, but I replaced some stuff. Um, I replaced uh, Krimgen with a different Krimgen. I replaced uh, Galvantula from Lantern. And Alma Malolik, I think was the same. I think ever since the same, I believe. But yeah, it's uh, been replaced. So it does better too, in my opinion. And uh, in this battle, you'll see why. Uh, my opponent's team, however, is pretty nice too. It's very similar to my own, actually. So he's got very similar stuff. Actually, it's really, really, really similar. It's almost the same <laughs> now that I look at it, except for Spirit Tomb. That's the only thing. So this is actually a pretty close match. And his team is so good, I might actually have to use it one day. I actually like how that looks too. It looks really good. But anyway, he's got the Spirit Tomb, the Dredigan, the Sand Slash, Magmortar, uh, Hitmonchan, and Lantern. And on my, we got Superior, Grimgan, uh, Dredigan, uh, Hitmon Lee. Uh, Galvantula, uh, Clefable, and Almaldo. So, yeah, it's a really close battle, and uh, a lot of over predictions happen in this one. I really would say a lot of over predictions because I was thinking, okay, maybe I could keep this guy, but then this happened. But he also has that same Pokemon, so maybe he knows I'm using this set. So that's what happened. So a lot of over predictions happen, but all in all, it's a really good match, and um. No video to download this time because I was too lazy to go to the video player thingamajigger over on uh, the thing to upload it. But um, I might add that in another video later if you guys really want that. But enough of my rambling, let's go ahead and get the battle started. Oh yeah, love this theme too. Colors this theme is actually so fucking good, I love it. Alright, so let's start it off. Um, I go into my E-Viper, and uh, I go for the, of course, I go for the glare right off the bat. You know, you know me, I gotta get the glare off. <laughs> and uh, the rest is set. So we're gonna go for the Reflect, and then the Light Screen. I believe he gets, oh, he actually does get the Ice Punch here, okay. I thought he would get paralyzed, but no, he does get the Ice Punch. Um, doesn't really do as much because of the Reflect. And then I go for the Light Screen because, you know, this is what Superior does. It sets up and then gets luck like that and survives. And then you switch out and bring in things to start wrecking shit. He goes into Krimgen. I'm like, okay, Krimgen is an interesting choice. Now, I should stay in and go for Glare or should I switch out? So I was thinking, actually, I might need Superior later. So I'm going to switch out and go to the Amana Log and set up rocks. Uh, he actually goes for Home Claw. So I was like, oh, okay. That's actually not a pretty bad, bad choice. Now that I know what type of Krimgen he is, Home Claws is actually a pretty good set. So he's got the Home Claws, the Dragon Tail, um, he might have Glare, and I think maybe like Earthquake or something. But uh, I switch out and go into uh, Alamoak anyway. I mean, he switches out and brings in his, uh, his, his, uh, what do you call this thing? Sand Slash, and he goes for Knock Off, and I get the rocks up. Now he brings his rocks up. I was predicting him to actually go for Rapid Spin so I can uh, start setting up my, uh, hit my chant here and I kind of predicted him to switch out because he probably knew I was gonna thought, think he was gonna do that so like I said over a lot of over predictions in this match so I go for the earthquake predicting him to switch out into something that can't really deal with earthquake as much I was gonna go for the stone edge but I didn't want to risk that so I go back and I bring back in uh, superior because I knew he was going to do something that might be a hindrance to uh, Hitmonchan. And Hitmonchan versus Spiritum is not a good matchup anyway. Uh, light screen wears off. And that's another reason I brought in uh, Superior. Because the screens were wearing off. And then he goes for Curse. And I'm like, whoa, what? Curse? No one uses that shit. And then I got me thinking, oh my god. Curse, Pain Split, Resto Chesto type of set? That is some evil stuff. And then you got Will-O-Wisp on top of that? Dude, I need that set. <laughs> That's what I told him in the chat, like, dude, I need this set. Thank you for giving me that info. That's a really evil... Let's look at this shit. Look at that. I couldn't do anything about that. I mean, I got the Giga Drain, but, dude, come on. Oh, it's, it's genius. But anyway, I bring out Krim Gun because I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to start wrecking shit. I got... I think I got at least Reflect up. Or was it us? Screen. But anyway, I did get something up. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to go into Outrage to see how much damage I can deal with um, Krimgen here. And it is um, Bandit. So seeing how much this does to Sand Slash, and I'm guessing his Sand Slash is pretty defensive, I was kind of surprised. Uh, then, of course, I do get the Confusion, and he actually goes for the knockoff again and knocks off. I kind of predicted him to do that, but like I said, look at that rough skin. So I was I was okay with him using knockoff, so I'm like, less damage, or less uh, less HP for you. But I get hit, so I was like, oh, this might not be good. 
finish to switch out, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna wing it. I know I can live another earthquake, definitely from the sand slash. So I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Yes! I got the outrage. <laughs> so that's that. I probably could have gone for Dragon Claw, but given the circumstances, I wanted to stay in just in case because, you know, it is Choice Bandit and might not have been enough. So hey, I went for Outrage. And uh, lost Crimean to his uh, Magmortar, which I'm thinking is actually Spec Scarf, not Specs, because it's uh, actually pretty fast. But um, he switches out because you know that's not a good match above Rock against just a straight fire, and I got the Rocks Stone Rock Blast. Uh, I actually go for the um, the ra Rapid Spin. So he maybe he predicted Rapid Spin, maybe he didn't. But anyway, I go for the Rock Blast now, and I can only get two off. And just by the damage, though, it does pretty good damage, and also. Um, he is Dragon Tail misses, so that was lucky me. And then this is the one the reason I didn't go for Sucker Punch on with my Dread again, because I knew he might have his own Sucker Punch. He probably has Sucker Punch in his set, and then again, a lucky crit here, and just a lot of good luck's going on right now. So he brings out Lantern, and he goes for Surf, and I'm like, okay, that's alright, you can get rid of um, you can get rid of this guy. He's basically done his job, he got rid of the rocks, he set up his own rocks, and it's just a really good, Alamona, um, Armaldo's actually a really good spinner and set up rock, so it's really good. But I go into my own Pika Bug, and I took a chance here. I'm like, you know what, let me just see how much a Choice Specs Modest Bug Buzz would do to Lantern. And because I got the crit, I think that really mattered, it did a lot of damage. So that was really a big change for the battle right there. Me, one shiny Lantern was amazing. So he brings in his Blissey, and I go for, um, excuse me, he brings in his Magma Turn, and I bring in my Lefable, nickname Blissey. He goes for the Fire Blast, and just like a Blissey, it can take um, special attacks pretty good, except for this one, Focus Blast. But because of how much that did, I'm thinking maybe it's not Spec Scarf, but it is Spec. Because Blissey, I mean, uh, Clefable might have been able to live that. But anyway, I go for the Close Combat, and uh, after bringing in a, um, after bringing in hit Molly and I get the uh, unburden started because it lost this uh, fire uh, fire gym fighting gym so I'm, I'm faster even if he didn't have paralysis I'd still be able to outspeed Jackie here unless he had like a mock punch but I I could take a mock punch so yeah that was it close combat would finish it off and that is good game so um, good game, Mr. What's your name? Let me see here. I believe his name was John Origins. Let me double check. Um, actually, no, that was not John Origins. Excuse me. This guy's name was House of Wolves 100, I believe. Let me see. 500. Let me double check. Hold on. House of Wolves. House of Wolves uh, 100. Yes. Yeah, so check him out. I don't know if he has a channel or not, but I'll, I'll try to link in the description or not. Um, Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, there's going to be a UU match coming up in the next couple of days as well, and stay around for that. I'm going to also upload some more OU and maybe some Ubers. All right, guys, and I will talk to you later. B2J135 signing out. Deuces.